Hi, this is Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you, demonstrate on uh, the difference between a stainless steel wire and chromium cobalt wire, the differences in um, versatility. Um, typically, this is your holly retainer that comes back and it breaks. Uh, most of the time, they break right at the holly loop where the most pressure points are where the doctor will go to use a three prong, adjust it, and they keep adjusting it until it actually pops. The pressure just, it just wears out the wire. Another reason is fatigue from patients um, playing with it or taking it in and out of their patient's mouth. This is another um, impact point that breaks. And once the wire is broken here, it's basically no good. It's impossible to repair without re just remaking the whole retainer. So in this demonstration, I'm gonna show you why these things happen and, and how to, what a better wire will actually um, do to prevent this. You can take an O36 wire and bend it, and you'll see how many times it bends before it reaches its fatigue point. So this is O36 stainless steel wire, typical stainless steel. One, and I'm gonna bend it back, two, three, Bend it back four, five, five, six, five and a half to six. Possibly you might get six bends out of it before it breaks. Now, with chromium cobalt wire, I'm going to show, I'm going to demonstrate the exact same thing. One bend, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you can clearly see that you can bend it 14 times and before it actually fatigues. I'm doing the exact same 90 degree bend. So um, that's your huge benefit in preventing retainer wires from popping. As you can see, you can bend it many more times. Um, other than it being a huge benefit to use chromium cobalt wire, over stainless steel is the cost. This wire compared to this wire is between four to five times the price. So there's no doubt that it's definitely more expensive, but over the long run, I think you can see that it's definitely worth it. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, you see any other videos that I'll make? Um, subscribe, like, hit the, hit the like button. And if you have any other videos you'd like me to uh, demonstrate, um, leave a note, leave um, a comment, and I'll get back to you and hopefully um, make some videos like this to demonstrate different products or whatever and help you out. All right, thanks for watching.